Oh, hey, I almost didn't see you there. You're uh, on top of the post there. I didn't see you after I set you down. Well, here we are on our trek to find Walden's cabin. Looks like it's about to get dark soon, so we better get moving. But before I go, let me show you what's in my bag so you can be prepared when you come to see Walden's cabin. Let's go. How do you turn this thing off, Jerry? Jerry. All right, so you're gonna want a few things to go to Walden's cabin, just a few. These are only the necessities. So what you're gonna want first is a camera case to keep your camera safe when you're not recording. All right, I got this bag full of goodies, okay? So number one priority, you wanna stay dry. That's your number one priority. Actually, that's your number two. Number one, you wanna have fun. All right, so what you're gonna want is your handy dandy raincoat, all right? So you take this thing out of your bag, you put it on yourself, you don't get wet, all right? I'm gonna do that right now. Nice and dry. All right, the other thing you wanna want is a knife. All right, this knife is very special. It's very nice, it's very knife. You don't have to get that big. I have this one because I like to stay safe and I like to eat my meat with a knife, all right? Make sure you keep your knife safe. If you keep your knife safe, you keep yourself safe. Remember that. I also have this handy dandy pocket knife. It's quite small, but it'll keep you safe. Let's put that back in there. All right, your number three priority is what you're gonna want. You're gonna want some bug spray, all right? Bug spray is very important. You see these bugs around me? Probably not, I do. Sprit, sprit, ow. You're gonna want that. Get that out of here. Number four priority, ow. You're gonna want a flashlight. This flashlight may look weird, but it'll keep you safe. It also acts as a lamp. Exhibit A, exhibit B. Let's put that away. Get that out of here. All right, next you're gonna need a tool. You're gonna need a tool so you can do things and you can work with things. This is an all priority tool you got here. See, you see, it can go chop, chop. All right, all right. It can uh, do this. Not sure why. Uh, and you know, just in case you wanna stay safe, bam, there's a little knife in there. All right, don't tell the children. Get that out of here. All right, number six priority, you're gonna want a lighter. This lighter will keep you safe. It'll also light things on fire, so be careful. All right, we all go into Walden's cabin, aren't we? So you're gonna want a book and a pencil to write with. So I got these handy dandy books right here. It's a little book, you see? I got a pencil. Yep. All right, this stuff's pretty basic. Get that out of here. All right, seven priority, you're gonna want a Rubik's Cube because sometimes it gets boring out here and you don't wanna be bored. Get that out of here. In 10th priority, you're gonna want the assignment because then you won't know what to do. I almost forgot. Most importantly, after all those other things, you're gonna want a camera charger because you don't want your camera to die in the wilderness. Get that out of here. All right, now you gotta get all your stuff together in your bag and let's go. Okay, now that we got everything together, it's time to get going. Let's go. Hello, and welcome to Where's Walden? <laughs> we start off on our trek to find the Walden cabin. Here we come across our first obstacle. This will be a treachery to pass. 
We'll have to approach this stream cautiously because we don't want our boots wet because then our socks get wet and that's annoying. I was very successful at crossing the stream and I only got one leg wet. Let's move on. There's something very peculiar going on over here. I better check it out. This right here is your daily deer trail. Maybe we'll find some deers. We have to be very quiet or else we'll scare the deer away. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what deer has just been bedded down. A mosquito just bit my hand. I thought I just heard a gorilla. Oh, this could be a gorilla nest. I better get out of here. Nothing going on over there. We've now come across what appears to be the cornfields of misery and death and misery. Looks like we'll have to cross. Wish me luck. Well, that's enough of that. It's making my feet hurt. If you're tuning in now, you can see a wild Bambi on the other side of the cornfield of death and misery and death. Where'd it go? It's very rare to see a sight like this, even though it's gone now. I hope you enjoyed the moment. Let me try calling it back with one of my deer calls. Hey, deer! Oh no. Deer! Hey, deer! I think it likes me. Yeah! Come here! This is just magnificent. My years of research and deer calling has finally come true. That's just magnificent. What a nice looking deer. And that's all I have to say about that. Let's move on. Oh my, oh my, I, I believe we found some wild cucumber tracks. I've only seen these in West Africa in North Antarctica. Isn't this just spectacular? Oh my, there must have been a herd of cucumbers. That's just spectacular. Let's move on. Okay, the sun is starting to set and my feet are starting to hurt. I hope we come across Walden soon. Wow. Do you hear that? That sounds like an underwater buffalo. This only means, this could only mean one thing. It must be, is it really? Could it be? No, no it's not. Yes it is. It's Walden's Pond. It really is Walden's Pond. That means we're almost to his cabin. Ooh, looks like some underwater buffalo have been nesting here as well. We better look at the pond and get going. Oh my, it's beautiful. It's extravagant. It's, it's just a pond. No, no it's not, it's more than a pond. I may have just heard a North African hippopotamus, so we better get moving if we wanna to get to the cabin before nightfall. I will lead you.
There was a barrier obstructing my path. I don't think you could see that, but I'm gonna jump over it. I survived. Hopefully the underwater buffalo didn't smell us. My arm is getting tired. I have to get to the end of there. I'll tune back in when I get there. As we approach the entrance to the forest, I'll have to warn you, it's very scary in there. So I have to take out my flashlight. I probably won't talk that much because I don't want the boogeyman to hear me, but I'll keep you posted. <sighs> No wonder Slender Man always catches a person. He can clearly keep, see my face. I'm now entering video game mode. This is so helpful. I can see everything with this lighter. Oh no, it went dead. This is a big problem. I don't know if I'll be able to survive. Well, this flashlight really isn't much better, but probably should have brought in a more brighter one. I don't even think I'm going the right way. Maybe this lamp will work. Good thing I've got my handy dandy pocket light. It's called a cell phone. Nightfall still hasn't come, but it's dark in these woods. I've spotted the cabin. It's right over there. All we have to do is cross this creek now. It's very slippery. Very slippery. Almost there. Here we are. We've made it to the cabin before nightfall. All right, we made it. Walden's cabin. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride, and maybe next time you can come along with me. Looks like we made it just before nightfall. I'm gonna go inside, make a fire, and go to sleep. Maybe read some Thoreau. Probably Walden, I'm not sure. Alright, I better get inside before the freshwater kangaroos come and get me. See you next time. I got the camera. Jerry, how do you turn this thing off again?